Hey, Mom. Hi, sweetie. How was solo auditions for your choir? Well, I got it. You got the solo, honey. I'm so proud of you. I knew you would. Yeah. Well, what's wrong? You don't seem very happy about it. It's nothing. I guess I'm a little nervous. It's a lot of pressure on me. Well, if you're nervous, why did you audition, honey? Because I want that solo. And maybe once I get it and I keep practicing, I won't feel so scared anymore. That's the way of looking at it. I'm going to go to my room. Um, okay, honey, let me know if you need anything. I will. Hmm, something's not right here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not fair. Um, I'm kind of in the middle of doing this report for school, so can you find somewhere else to mow? <sighs> I can't. This is my only moping place. Well, at least you admit that you're moping. What's wrong? Did something happen in school? Yeah, when we went to music class to be in the choir and who's we? My class and I. Me and this girl, Cheyenne, we got car bats for the solo we both tried out for. Well, that's great. Yeah, but Cheyenne wants the solo so much that she wants me to take the fall. Take the fall? You know, like she wants me to do bad on purpose so she can get it. But you and China are, you and Cheyenne are friends. I know. At least we're supposed to be. What do you think a real friend would make you do that? I don't even know anymore. I really don't. I mean, I want the solo more than anything, but not if it's going to break me and Cheyenne's friendship. Maybe you should call Cheyenne and tell her to come over. No way, I don't want to talk to that traitor again. So I'm guessing you're not going to take the fall? No, whoever gets the solo gets it. I'm not going to sacrifice my chances so she'll be happy. I think you really should discuss this with Cheyenne. You have a number, you can call her over. I guess I can call her to come over. All right, I'll give you some privacy. Thanks. Man. Hey. Hi. So what did you want to talk about? I wanted to talk to you about these callback auditions we had. Yeah? Why do you want the solo so bad that you want me to pretend to sing it badly so you can get the solo? Because I'm older than you and I should get the solo? You're not that much older than me. You're only like a year older than I am. 11 months to be exact, that's not even a year. Look, I wanna tell you something. Wait. When I told my mother that you and I got the call back for the solos the other day? Yeah. Well, my mom was happy and she said that if I got this solo, she'll be so proud of me that, that what? She'll let me take private singing lessons and really strengthen my voice and she'll let me try out for the voice. Aren't she? We a little young to try out for the voice. It's the voice kids that I'm gonna try out for. Oh, okay. And I really want the solo because of that. Look, I'm glad your mom believes in me that much, but it's not fair that I have to give up something I like just to make you happy. Why? We're friends, aren't we? Of course we're friends. But real friends wouldn't expect their friends to do something like this. 
I know. But listen, you are super talented. You'll get your chance. Me, not so much. Please. Fine. I'll, I'll do it. Thanks. You're the best friend in the world. I know I am. I'm doing something I don't want to do just to make you happy. I guess that's what a real friendship is. You're mad at me, aren't you? Look, just go. I'll call you later. Look, I'm sorry. Just go, please. See you tomorrow. Well, I'm glad that Larissa and her friend Cheyenne made amends. Cheyenne looks so happy. She must be so glad then that she made up with Larissa. That's not why she's so happy. Larissa? Have you been fine? No. She's allergies. Nice try, Larissa. Have a seat. Mom, Larissa. Rebecca, why didn't you go in your room and go on the computer, finish your report? I want to talk to Louis so long. Okay. Thank you. Okay, you. I want to know what's wrong. Did something happen between you and Cheyenne? Kind of. Well, what does kind of mean? I don't know, like... What, honey? What is it? Well, Cheyenne and I got callbacks for the solo that we both want, okay? And Cheyenne guilted me into letting her have the solo when we have our callbacks. Well, honey, that's up to the teacher. Well, that's what I thought, but Cheyenne says she wants me to sing terrible so that she could get the solo. She wants me to take the fall. And when I reluctantly agreed that I would, she said I was the best friend ever. Even though this is making me upset, she doesn't care, she just wants that solo. Well then, then do you think she's a real friend if she's making you do something that you don't wanna do? I don't know anymore. I mean, her and I have fun together. But well, we do have those little bumps in the road. But this is not just a bump, it's a boulder on the road. <laughs> Mom, I don't know what to do. Honey, this is what you do. You do your best when you audition for that solo. It's never smart to be less than who you are or to let anyone take that from you. You're right. I'm going to call Cheyenne and let her know that. Would you like me to help or anything? No, Mom. I'm 11 years old. i got to handle this myself. That's my girl. Let me know if you need anything, though, okay? I will. Hey. Oh, hey, do you feel better after talking to Mom? I will be. Can you hand me my phone? Sure. Bzzz. Bzzz. Hey, your phone's ringing. Want me to get it for you? Yeah, just hand it to me. Okay. Bzzz. Hello? Hey, Louis, it's Cheyenne. Hi. Look, I've called to what? Why are you calling me? I was about to call you. Why? Because I was about to say, I'm not going to let you take my solo. I have just as much of a chance at getting it than, as you do. And I'm not going to mess up just so you can have the solo. That is not fair. What ha what's going to happen is going to happen. Listen, Larissa, that's what I called to tell you. What? I called to apologize 
I'm saying that you don't have to you don't have to do what I ask you to do. I don't. What's the catch? No catch or condition. Really? Yeah, I want us to stay friends and I can't make you do something you don't want to do. Well, thanks for noticing that. Look, I'm really sorry I made you do this. Well, I shouldn't have agreed to do it. I should have just told you how I felt in the beginning. I know, but I wouldn't let you. No, you wouldn't. Do you think you could forgive me? I forgive you. Just don't do that to me again. You really hurt me. I know, and I'm sorry. <sighs> okay. You're forgiven. Listen, um, I wanted to say break a leg at the car box tomorrow. Same to you. So I'll see you tomorrow in the chorus? I'll be there. Okay. Well, listen, I've got to practice. Yeah, I'm going to practice, too. Okay. I'll see you tomorrow at school. Bye. Bye. Who was that who called you? Couldn't you tell? It was Cheyenne. What did she want? She wanted to apologize for trying to make me give up the solo. Like to, you know, take the fall and everything. She called to apologize to you? Yeah. I mean, her and I get along well. We just hit bumps in the road once in a while. But we always make up. So, you still want to be friends with her, even though she did what she did to you? Yeah, because she called and apologized, and I believe her. But how do you know she's not going to do that to you again? I don't, but I trust her. And if she doesn't like being told to do something she doesn't want to do, she actually flat out refuses. But she expects you to do something that you don't want to do just to benefit her? I know it sounds crazy. A lot of the times I fall into a trap, like she'll give me a guilt trip. But I think this time I figured enough was enough. I'm proud of you. I know how hard it is for you to stand up for yourself. It is hard, but thanks. Why don't you, um, why don't you watch YouTube videos with me? Sure, I'd love that. But don't you have a paper to write? I'm finished. Oh, okay. Well, in that case, I'd be more than happy to watch YouTube videos with you. Okay. Where's my computer? Oh, here it is. You ready? I'm ready. Okay. 